Yo guys, Superior David here, and today we are going to be talking about my take on the Burn Mage archetype that's been making its way around ladder this past week. And personally, I've been finding this archetype to be really refreshing because it's a mage deck that actually has like a synergistic plan that doesn't just like rely on mana cheating or generating a bunch of random cards to win the game. Instead, you play a bunch of spell damage minions like Lab Partner and like Imprisoned Phoenix to stack up those spell damage bonuses so you can burst your opponent down with like Frost Bolts and Fireballs that we actually run in our deck. Uh, then on top of this, we also run other spell damage synergy cards like uh, the Tried and True Cram Session to churn through our deck efficiently. And then we also have the Spell Book Binder and Arcane Watcher, which I know at first glance probably look a bit more meme but they actually help out. Great, like, addition utility and they can also like just contest the board in the early game don't sleep on these cards uh, then I know a lot of people are also running a dragon package in this list and while good against slower decks I found that it was sort of like the weaker part of the deck so instead I put in like a couple arcane missiles and wand thieves to help out in more aggressive matchups while giving us more like burn and scam potential in uh, against like slower decks now the mulligan for this deck can be complex if you want it to be but I think most of the time you just want to always be keeping that lab partner so you can do something on turn one and then you try to get like a nice curve with like a spell book binder into arcane watcher because uh this allows you to apply pressure and start getting in that chip damage early, earlier in the game and that gives you an easier time to like burst down your opponent going into like the mid to late game uh but in slower matchups i will prioritize the imprisoned phoenix and the cram session just so i know i can get that big refill on my hand to keep up the pressure in those matchups and uh, against aggro decks i will always keep the violet spell wing and the firebrand to help contain those early game boards and really piss off those aggro rogues. And uh, finally, against Druid, uh, talk about containing boards, always keep that arcane explosion uh, to answer a Glowfly Swarm board, or else you're going to be very upset when you lose the game turn five because you can't. And with that, it's time for some good old superior gameplay. Uh, as always, let me know down in the comments if you still have questions about the deck. And of course, like the video for the mystical YouTube algorithm and subscribe so you can be superior. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Really do appreciate it. Uh, stay superior, and I'll see you in the next one later. Let's keep it kosher. Keep it kosher. Oh, it Interesting. Maybe I save the coin now because I have the spellbook binder. It'd be nice to draw cards. But at the same time, I do have the Primordial Study, so I think I probably just coin this out, because, like, I don't think this deck runs Shadow or Death, and so we'll be able to just smack him in the face. Hey, oh, Gavin Gill, thank you for the follow. Very superior. Very superior, indeed. He does have the Shadow or Death. I was really convinced this deck didn't have the Shadow or Death. Um, now we need some help here. We are... We need some help. We need some help. We need some, some reload. I'm going to go for the dragon against Priest. Maybe not. Maybe I go for the Thalnus for the draw. I don't know. I'm going to go for the dragon. Dragon can give me something else to play. And then if, it, if this sticks, then Raz will clean up. That seemed like a bad Holy Nova. So now we go... Boom. Dear God, these are all so slow. This is, in some ways, tempo at least. I think I hold on to this for a uh, for a cram session. Oh my god! Please live, 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 live. That was huge. That was huge. That was so good for us. It was pretty likely that like this was gonna live, you know. So he's gonna try to steal my hands here. I think. Oh, he's playing Res Priest. Okay. Do you think it's regular Cthulhu with just Vargoth? Oh, okay. That actually makes a lot of sense. So now he actually has the Mind Render. He has the Mind Render, so I think I actually have to use uh, my burn here. And then this is plus three. I gotta, I gotta kill the Vargoth. Because that could be really bad. Three off. But he definitely has the Mind Render. One mana Mind Render. Yeah, that was, that was most likely to happen. Um, sort of unfortunate. Actually, real talk. Whatever he plays, we just play we just play Murasan. And that could probably be pretty solid for us. Hmm. Solarium Prime. 
I'm surprised he didn't play the Solarium Prime. Let's see. Uh, we get lethal off this every time. No, it wasn't, it wasn't lethal. Hit him in the face. Hit, let's go, let's go, let's go. Face, 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 face. No! Pen penance doesn't go... No. Penance, penance doesn't work. I can't penance his face. I'm gonna give him bad dragon. These are all really good dragons, but I guess fairy dragon would probably be the worst. And now we force... We force him to... Uh, to soul mirror here. Had I played Holy Nova... Or Penance, he would just play Murazon, then he would get the value from Holy Nova. And this way, at least I like at least like he can't do that stuff this turn, you know? He has to He he can't play Holy Nova this turn. That's that was pretty good for him. Let's see. Just go for this. Lethal every time. Not lethal. Um Hold up. Well, this will go face. Boom. I like getting value. Um, we're gonna go devolving. Oh crap, wait, oh god, I messed this up. Um, but we go devolving on you. So we're hoping for this spell damage to get hit. That's okay. Alright, this will be fine. This will be fine. I fucked this up so badly. Um, we do have another dragon. There we go. That'll give us lethal. Um, let's see. Here, Malt, Malt, Malt Zero. Let me try this out. My, Nightbot might be down. Oh, there we go. Okay, so David royally effed this up, but I think we're going to be okay. I got you, Malt, Malt Zero. Um, because this is a dragon, so we play this, we get the fireball, we win. Easy. Yo, Gary, how you doing? You could play Holy Nova. That would clear off our board. He that'd heal him a little bit. We just go Malagos Fireball and we win. And then if, and then if we get the Frostbolt, then we just play double spell damage next turn. Okay, so we have some plays. Let me think this through. So I could go like Astromancer, Solarian, Blood Mage, Thalnos. I could play the Potion of Illusion to get two more copies of them. That's six mana. And then go seven, eight missiles. Which I sort of like because. I mean, because it's damage and like the Thalnoses will draw me cards anyways. Whereas, like, I could play this this turn. But this could maybe, uh... Let's see, this, is, this would be spell damage plus four. That'd deal a lot of damage. So I think it, I think it will go for it. I'm actually going to play the Arcane Watcher. Uh, maybe I should have pinged his face. I mean, Potion Mally works, too. Of course that works. Maybe I should... Oh, that's what I should have done. I mean, I could do that. I'm, I'm pretty sure this Mally will live anyways, unless he gets something scammy off this. That was actually a really good card to get. Actually, this deck runs Plague of Death, so that could be pretty bad. Maybe I F that up. <laughs> Me, every play. Man, I think I F this one up. But he, uh, he'll never clear this off, though. Well, this will be fine. He's going for value. That's okay. I think he's focused on clearing this off, because this looks very unassuming at the moment. Like, he doesn't know that we have the potion. So I think he's just going to focus on clearing this off, because this is just imminent an imminent threat, where this is just, like, just a theoretical threat. We shall now that's a bit annoying. <clears throat> hmm. Second Thalnos, so we go boom, boom, boom. That was just filthy. 
Uh, let's go for you. This isn't lethal. It's not quite there yet. I think we'll just pop this off, see where the missiles land. That was okay. Also, probably doink into here. I don't think I missed out on anything by doing that. And now we go triple spell damage minion, Malagos Frostbolt, and we deal a bunch of damage to his face. That's okay. This will draw us a card. There we go. There we go. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I mean, even if he has Apotheosis, you know, I don't. I think it's just like a band aid. I think we'll be fine. It's knowing that this lab partner lives so long. I think we're going to be fine, though. I think we're going to be fine. Okay, yeah, pops into there. Don't care. Don't care. He's already played his Mind Render. We got him. We got him, guys. We got him. Look at this. Check this out. Look at that. an obscene amount of spell damage coming in here. Don't even care. Don't even care. Oh, we got to go for We got to go for the... Our little Exodia here. Boom. I could coin this out. I don't like that as much, though. Hello. Hello. We'll give him a little hello. Oh, Janor, dude. Congratulations. Thank you for the 300 biddies. I really do appreciate it. And, dude, thank you for just, you know, thank you for being a superior mod over the, over the, I, it hasn't been years for you. It's been probably a year or close to it, but I really appreciate it. You've done a lot. You literally, guys, Janor literally created the superior command. So you got to hype it up for Janor. Warmall Challenger? Yeah, I thought about trading into this for that reason, but I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Because now I play the Arcane Watcher. And this is a big old minion that this I feel like this uh, warrior will not have fun dealing with. Ayo, KJJ005, thank you for following. Very superior. See more butts. Yeah, that's that's a that's a respectable superior rating. Oh god, don't get the Divine Shield buff too. Nitrobe's Poison. Huh. Your flaws are your strength. Could be worse, I guess. I feel like this dude should be going face. Um, that, was, that worked out pretty well for us, honestly. Because now we just coin out the Raz and we clear off most of this. Then we clean up the we clean this up next turn. Yeah, that was a stinky play. Cause like had they gone face, like they missed five damage face, you know? Cause I was definitely gonna have to make that trade anyways. Maybe they're worried about like devolving missiles or something. I don't know. That was that just seemed like weird to me though. And now we got the firebrand to clean up next turn. Firebrand's time to shine. This guy who's clearly not a dragon, he clearly is like a Cthulhu tentacle dude. Rip Seymour butts. Oh yeah, Janor, you also did that command. Janor, Janor has done a lot of the superior commands on this channel. Let's give this a shot. Which one? I think this is the created by one, so we're gonna do that. Well, wait, no, we go for you first. I'm gonna go for the combustion. Like, this could be good later on. I know, combustion seems good. I'm like, okay, if he has like a Corcron, this could slow him down, but like this could actually like kill the Corcron, so I sort of like that. So we're gonna go for this, then that. Okay, could have been better, but, you know, could have been a lot worse. That was, that was really unfortunate. Um, that was, wow. Did he top deck that? No, he had that in hand because it's turn six. Oof. Big ol' oof. But uh, he's used two Nitro Boost Poison. No, he's used a Nitro Boost Poison. He's used an Inner Rage. So he's used some, like, really crucial win condition cards right now. So I think that's probably good for us. We go... Boom, I don't think our positioning matters too much. No, we put this in the middle in case he has the uh, the cleave weapon. We go... It doesn't really matter how we do this. Okay, Missiles hates David. Yeah, you know, I think you might be right there. This is 11, 15 burst. Oh, dear God. Um, we're probably going to just fi fireball this. 
Uh, let's see, something big, please. Hold up. I think we go for the Kieran Tor Tricaster, honestly. I mean, I mean, I guess it says. I mean, maybe we know. Maybe we go Archmage. This is just like better stats. Like this deck could like really flip things around on, on us really fast. So I think we go for a bit of a longer game and we go for the Archmage and we'll just fireball ping this this turn. That pain that pained me a lot, but I think that'll be okay. That's so bad. Imprisoned Phoenix. He's gonna be able to. I, I, I play this out anyways. I think I messed that up. I was like, oh, maybe we could like save this, like all this, to clear this off. But I, I could, like this. This isn't gonna go online for two more turns, and that's gonna be be a lot of damage in my face. I gotta force this trade. Maybe he duplicates this, and then we could like clear it off with uh like frostbolt or something. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I uh that battle rage was really rough for us because it gave him some like very solid reload. And right now, we oh my god. If he has second battle rage, we probably just lose. Maybe that's like a blood swarm mercenary. He's not sure if we should duplicate the the blood boil brood or this. Horkron, okay. This dude's confusing me a lot. This dude's confusing me a lot here. Um, I mean, we don't really care too much about the armor. I care more about him killing us. I think we gotta kill, even though the, this does one more damage, I think we gotta kill this just in case you could, you get some, some way to duplicate it. Oh, I'm sorry, Ziz. Here. I'm sorry, I, I updated the command, so it's just like exclamation mage. Uh, but I, I didn't bother to, to say anything. <laughs> Ugh. So we're gonna get to rip a thick cram session. Maybe we get Sorcerer's Apprentice in second cram session. I don't know. A man can dream. Need some help here. That helps. That is actually pretty decent. Um, we do this. So he has the cleave weapon. Cleave weapon, or he has the. Uh... Actually, we don't know he has a cl the cleave weapon, but just in case he does, we'll do something like this. We've seen the Corcron. They usually only won't run one Corcron. There's still probably like a Grom in the deck. Um, if they have the Ankar, Ankar, if, if they got Ankar, that'd be pretty good. The Reaper Scythe is bad because he could just go face now. Um, we need to we need something something good off the top here. We need some. We need the goods off the top. That is not it. Um, we go boom, boom, boom. You fight me. Maybe I should have positioned this a bit differently, but that's okay. I think I still use it just because I don't think I'm ever gonna get like he'll probably get the like play a spell, get the cleave damage. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it because I don't. I think this guy's just gonna keep going face because that's how he wins. Um, so I, I'm pretty sure that this is just gonna this spell damage will stay alive. I don't know, it's easy. I mean, if we get like a Frostbolt off the top, maybe? We get a Taunt off this. Holy crap. We gotta get a Freeze off this. Turn it up. Um, Put this in the middle over here, because he wants to kill off the spell damage. That's gonna cost him. No, we don't YOLO Malagos. Let's go. We we yellow the freaking evocation. We could do this actually. We could actually get the lethal for sure. Let's go. Um, boom. Is there a biscuit here? They get all the damage. No Frostbolt! No Frostbolt! Damn it! No! We needed the Frostbolt! Maybe we didn't get it. Ugh. Um, he could get Nitro Boost Poison. He'd have to corrupt it, though. He might be- he, he might have it and just be trolling us. 
No way! No freaking way! Are you kidding me? How did we pull this off? How did we pull this off? How did we freaking pull this off? No. If it's a BM, it's the weirdest BM I've ever seen. Oh my god, Cave. Oh my god. Um, we're just gonna go for this. I don't want to reveal anything else in our deck to him. In case we encounter this guy again, so we're just gonna go fireball boom. Ooh. <laughs> Get that